Oh, morning already? Come on, I'll just get into that good dream. Well, I guess it is Valentine's Day, so I should probably try a little harder than usual, and maybe do something special today. Let's look at makeup first. Ooh, I do like those eyeshadows. That has a really nice base color. Oh, and that has a beautiful pink. Oh, those nail polishes are nice. Maybe I'll hit my nails later. Chapstick, obviously. That's a no-brainer. And then, hmm, maybe not that lip color. It's a little bright. So, I'm sorry, as you can probably tell, that I am already wearing mascara, but I had skating this morning, so I thought I could look a little presentable, but mostly because I wanted to try out my new mascara, which is the Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline New York, and I really like it. Um, I'll probably do a review on it later, but I love it. It reminds me a lot of the One by One mascara, which is something I love a lot, but it gives a little bit more volume. So that was the brush, and yeah, as you can see, it was very thick, and I also wanted to say, so yeah, I love this, but also I had already put on my moisturizer, but you guys see this in like every video, I mean, just rub it on your face, so I mean, I don't think I really need to show you that. So to start, I am just using my Maybelline um, Illuminating uh, Under Eye Concealer, and so I'm just patting this underneath my eyes like usual, make sure to cover up any under eye circles that I may have. Okay, so to start into the makeup, I am just using this nice vanilla-y shadow from Clinique onto my lids act as a base. And then I'm going to my little black beauty book by e.l.f. And I am just taking this beautiful purpley-pinky color, and I'm just putting this onto a fluffy blending brush, and then blending this up into my crease just to add that little Valentine's fun, flirty feel to my eyes. And then I am just taking this natural shimmery color with just a hint of pink, and I am just putting this onto the middle of my eyes to make my eyes have a little bit more dimension. And I forgot to show you guys this because my camera stopped working, but I put on some black eyeliner and I winged it out, just a nice thin line to give, once again, a very fun, flirty Valentine feel. And then at this moment, I would also be doing my mascara, but I, we already went over that earlier. So I am just taking this lip brush that I got from Sephora along with a lip color from Sephora which is just a very nice pinky color and I like using lip brushes just because you can really outline your lips and put the product exactly where you want it so now I am just pinching my cheeks give my, my skin a nice natural flush and there you have it that is the Valentine's makeup look and I hope you guys like it Hmm, what to wear, what to wear. Let's see here. That's, that's okay, and I like that color, but, ooh, that lace would be pretty, but you know, I'm just going to school. I need to be casual. So, let's see, this pink sweater is nice, as is this denim little shirt. Hmm, that, or that, or maybe together? Hmm, there we go, I think I like this combination. I'm just wearing this pink sweater with an orange heart from Delia's with this kind of chambray shirt from JCPenney. It's just a very light wash. And I just scrunched up the sleeves. And of course, I added the orange heart for Valentine's Day. For my bottoms, I'm just wearing these black leggings and then as well as my Old Navy light brown riding boots, which I wear all the time. Okay, for hair. I definitely need to brush it because I just woke up this morning. And then I'm just putting on my Chi Heat Protectant because I think it's uh, always a good thing to protect your hair from the harmful heat of a straightener. So I'm just brushing through my hair to separate the heat protectant and make sure it's evenly distributed. Then I'm separating my hair from my ears up. I am twisting it and then just putting in this little clip to hold it up. I am now splitting my hair into two and taking my straightener and beginning to straighten. The hairstyle I'm going to show you guys, you can do with natural hair, with curly hair, or in my case, straight hair. I just chose straight because it's easiest for me to do in the mornings. But really, any way will work anyway at all. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to run the straightener through my hair, just doing lots and lots of layers to make sure that I get each piece straightened.
doing your hair, right? Oh, whatever. But, yeah, I'm just still continuing to straighten and smooth and straighten some more and sing some more. But, yep, just still going on with the hair. And after all the sections of my hair are done, I just put it all in one, and I usually go ahead and do the back now, just to make sure I didn't miss any pieces back there while I was doing the rest. Where? When you're walking down the street, acting like you just don't care, but life could be so sweet. But why you wanna be like that? As if there's nothing new. You're not fooling no one, you're not even fooling you. So walk a little slower, and open up your eyes. So now for the actual hairstyle. I'm just taking this bow and I'm splitting my hair and just kind of taking the section on the crown, back twisting it, and then I am just going to secure it with some bobby pins after I make sure you know my bangs are all good and everything. So I just slightly push it up, apply two bobby pins to make sure my style holds all day, and then I am taking the bow, which I actually made in my DIY hair bows video, I'll link that down below, but I am just putting that in my hair, and I love this. The pink is perfect for Valentine's Day, the stripes are just so cute, and I, I don't know, I just love this whole entire outfit. Uh, well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and now I am off to school. See you guys later!